What's up guys? It's your girl Celine here and welcome back to my channel. It has been such a long time since I've said that. This is the first video of 2024. This was a highly requested. I asked you guys what kind of videos you want to see for 2024. Um, a lot of you guys wanted to see a updated everyday makeup routine. So that is exactly what this video is. I'll be showing you guys all of the current products that I've been using the past few months. I've been kindly gifted so many incredible PR from so many amazing makeup companies so I've been trying them out and switching things out and switching things in adding to my routine so this is gonna be a very updated makeup routine for you guys if you guys are new here don't forget to subscribe I'm so excited to be back on YouTube and without further ado let's get into the video so skincare prep is so important for me especially before going into a makeup look so i first start off with the clarins double serum and i just basically pat this all over my face i use this for the morning and for the night by the way next i go in with some la roche posay hydrolonic acid serum and i just put a little bit all over rub it in i then go in with the lineage water bank moisturizer i love this stuff so much it is very very hydrating for the skin especially for winter months this is my go-to moisturizer for sure so this is the lineage hydro uv defense sunscreen and i always just put a little bit of this on and it's also like a moisturizer too so it feels really nice on the skin i love that about this product okay so next up is primer and primer is so key you guys especially for me because like i do my makeup pretty earlier in the day before my events and stuff because i always film videos during the day or running errands or god knows what so primer is super important so i've been using the milk hydro grip primer if you guys know this was super super popular a few years back and honestly it is worth all the damn hype because this thing i wore it to coachella and my makeup did not move an inch so uh definitely the hydro grip is uh, in for 2024 if you haven't tried it it's incredible so Too Faced kindly gifted me pr this past year and i am so excited because i've been dying to try their foundations their concealers so many of their different eyeshadow palettes they sent me the born this way undetectable medium to full coverage foundation and guys let me tell you i am in love with this foundation i don't know why i didn't try this out sooner because it is so so pretty like i said this is a very updated makeup routine like literally like what i've been using the past few months so don't even need to put on that much because it's more of like a medium to full coverage type of build so it's literally the perfect color match i did their color match online and i was so blown away with how incredibly perfect it was oh and it just looks so so damn good okay so now it is time for concealer so i've been using the morphe filter effect concealer in the shade medium 14 guys this is literally 12 bucks on alta's website so i would definitely recommend getting it because it's a soft radiant concealer but honestly i just i love this concealer so much really buttery creamy i love it it also just blends so 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 good it never leaves my under eyes looking like creamy creased up or like cakey and it is only $12 which is a really 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 good price for a concealer all right so next up is contour or bronzer whatever you want to call it I know people like call it different things all the time but I use the Fenty Beauty contour stick this is in the shade truffle 04 I'm actually almost running out of this so oh the last few good uses of it but i also really really love this just because it blends out really nicely i've noticed with some contours like they can literally like leave patchiness on your skin like especially on top of your foundation absolutely can't stand that so this one doesn't and that's why i have stuck with it now for i want to say almost a year i've had that thing i have no exact idea i also used to use the L lys one that one for some reason like it just picks up my foundation as well it would i wouldn't see it at first when i blend it out it looks so beautiful when i blend it out but then the moment i would put like a powdered contour on top of it it would literally just 
separate the heck out of my foundation and everything and just like i would have this huge patch on my skin and i looked crazy and i would have to like redo my makeup and it was just oh it was just it was just terrible next up is liquid blush and i've been using the rare beauty liquid blush in the shade worth i also love miss selena gomez's products i actually want to try her contour stick out next once i finish my fenty one because i have heard so many incredible things about that thing yeah so i think i'm gonna switch over to that i'm very hopeful it's gonna be incredible because i love her blushes they're so so pretty and again blend out super seamlessly but look at literally just look how beautiful selena gomez i would love to try a lot of selena's other stuff too she has some incredible products and she is always making new products she's a queen she slays we love her okay so my next step now in my makeup routine is to set my face i have been using the one size translucent powder for so long now and i try and put every single person i know on this this is only 30 dollars, which is a really great price for a setting um powder i know like there's a lot of other higher end brands out there that are really expensive and they they do exactly the justice just as this one i don't know i love this powder so so much i also now use the powder puffs i never used these things before until i saw everyone on tiktok using them i don't know where i was i was just so damn late to the trend like now i can't even imagine doing my makeup without a powder puff because i don't think I, I can't use a brush anymore to do it. It just like doesn't come out the same. Okay, I lost my powder puff, so let me find it really quick. Okay, I don't know where I put it. It's probably in one of my purses somewhere. So we're gonna whip out a new one. I actually bought like 10 pack of these powder puffs off of Amazon. I will link them in my storefront because these things are incredible. So I basically just dip it into the powder and then I just go in right underneath my eyes first. Just kind of pat it above. And then I do get this area. This is a key right here if you want like a snatched jawline. Like literally take your powder and your powder puff and drag it along into like the shaping that you want it to be. I just literally go straight across and then I drag the rest of the powder down. But it just creates that like snatched illusion and that's what I really love about these powder puffs. And boom, just like that. Next up is powder blush. So I've been using the Benefit powder blush in the shade Pom Pom. It's like a really pretty pink shade. It's kind of very similar to the liquid blush. So that's kind of why I use this one. But I actually now changed it up. I used to apply my powder contour first and then my powder blush. But now I like to put my powder blush on first first i don't know i just like it way better yeah and then next i use the benefit hula caramel bronzer this actually had my name on it i love my benefit team so so much and they sent out like customized little bronzers for us and it had my name on it and i've just taken it everywhere with me because i was so obsessed with it and in my travel bags obviously i carry a lot of makeup and so it scratched my name off completely so i'm really really sad it's so pretty i grew up actually wearing this specific bronzer when i was like in middle school and high school it was just like a go to and then when i got to work with benefit and they started sending me pr it was just like a full circle moment and i was like oh my god i really loved benefit like growing up yeah, i love their team they're one of the sweetest teams i've ever met in the beauty industry and i love benefit so much they send me flowers like a beautiful bouquet of flowers every year for my birthday and i cry about it all the time because i'm like what is life benefit the benefit team sending me flowers on my birthday it's crazy guys it's crazy all right the next step is to set this bad boy so i basically use the milani make it last original spray i normally use miss charlotte tilbury spray but i save her for occasions because it's an expensive setting spray this is half the price uh, for this setting spray and it works wonders i actually use this in coachella too and the girls um were like how did your makeup like literally not melt off at coachella and i was like literally like i'm gonna show you guys right now drench your face in the setting spray that is the key you have to look like you're like about to you just ran a 10k marathon i don't know <sighs> you see that i ran a 10k marathon <laughs> and then after that i just okay i'm taking a mirror because i don't have a fan and just kind of fan it 
pretty much dries. So the next step is eyebrows. And like I said, we love Benefit. So I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Um, what is this shade? This is the shade 5. I used to do like a more like lightly fill. But now I love to do like a nice subtle shape brow. I just feel like it suits my face shape more. You can't go wrong with it. It doesn't look like too full full glam or like too too crazy. I don't know. I love it. The brows are done. Sorry I had to do them off camera because I get them my zone. I'm doing it. Next, I use the 24-hour brow setter also by Benefit. Love this brow gel because I love the applicator of this. It's like its own little like shaping tool. It's it's so incredible. I had no idea about it until I went to Benefit and they did a brow lamination for me. He was like showing me how to like sculpt the brows like with it and I was shocked. I, I was like, wow, this is incredible. A new idea. So good. Alrighty, we are basically to third to last step of all of my makeup routine. So next I'm gonna just go ahead and curl my lashes. Um, I don't know where this lash curler is from. Definitely from like Marshalls. But I'm actually gonna prime my lashes first. Um, I'm using the Essence Lash Princess Primer. It is also new, it just came out. I actually use a bunch of like Essence's Lash Princess mascaras. They're so, so good and they're super affordable. I think they're like four or six bucks. My all time favorite mascara that I've just been I just have to pull out of the drawer every single day is the Benefit Fan Fan Fest mascara. This mascara is incredible. Every time I do my lashes, I always like look back at photos and stuff and I'm like looking at my lashes and I'm like, "Damn, like my lashes are that long." Like the the effect of it is just so it's gold so basically we're going to start off with the lash primer first i'm just going to go ahead and give it a nice little coat i'm going to look crazy right now like ooh. okay yeah, look at the applicator yeah i love like the bent curve applicators the best effect for like a full volume lash coating up on the mascara y'all i put so many coats of mascara on so i'm just gonna show you before and then i will show you guys after like do we see the lashes all right and our last no second to last step is highlighter of course we got to use miss benefits cookie highlighter gorge and you literally only need a little bit because it's just super pigmented and glowy so for lips i've been using these two lip liners for ages these are both from morphe and these are only six dollars so i use the shade guide me first and i basically apply it to the outer i can't use a different lip liner because no other lip liners look good on me i don't know what it is and then for my inner lips i use the shade chippy to kind of blend together gorge and then i've been using the Too faced kissing jelly lip glosses guys these are so stunning i have all the shades from Too faced and they smell incredible and they just leave that beautiful like glittery look to your lips and it just it's absolutely gorgeous gorgeous do you see that glitter Alrighty, guys this is the completed everyday makeup look it might look like full glam to some of you guys but this is just my everyday makeup look and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what videos you guys want to see next i'm thinking of doing an updated q a so i'll post something on my ig and have you guys put in all the questions uh that you want answered but anyways i love you guys so much and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe i would really really appreciate it don't forget to stream my music and check me out on all my other social media platforms. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!